Julie is with us in Springfield, Missouri. Hi, Julie. How are you? Good. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? Um, so we sold our house back in August, um, and we are still sitting on the money that we got back from it. Um, so my question is, should we throw all that money towards debt, um, and could we use part of it as a down payment for a house, or should we put it all onto debt? How much money do you have? 17000 And how much debt do you have? Twenty three seven. And what's your household income? Um, it actually just increased. It went from fifty, and we're we're around ninety now. Good for you. Okay. Thank you. And where are you living now? We are actually in a camper. We bought a used this will whenever we sold our house. Um, so we're going a little crazy. We have two kids and two dogs in a forty foot camper. So how old are you? Yeah. Uh, I'm twenty eight. My husband's thirty two. Why'd you sell your house? <sighs> I don't have a good reason. Um, the market was good. We knew we'd get a chunk back. That's that's honestly it. Okay. Okay. Um, 17K from the home sale. Yep. Um, 23.7 in debt. Are you work, currently working the snowball? Have you started paying off other debts yet? We haven't, no. Okay. Do you have $1,000 saved? We do. Yeah. Okay. You got so 23000 That's saved. true. So we'll start with $1,000 saved. I, I guess what I'm looking for, I want to make sure that you're committed to a process going forward okay. because it's going to take you being committed to this process or else you're going to go, she told me to take this money and pay off my debt and then and you're going to feel go, like you were up a creek. So you've go got to- rent a house. Go rent a house. Rent a house. Okay. Yeah. Sell the okay. camper and pay off your debt. Okay. And pay off your debt by, um, Chris, pay off your debt by Christmas. Okay. And then, then build an emergency fund and then build a down payment and buy another house. Okay. And with um, with our pay range, what what would you suggest um, like uh, for the amount of house we should get? You know, so we've got a calculator that's located on our site, but the parameters there is we never want the payment, your monthly payment, to be any more than 25% of your take-home pay. And that's everything all in. That's taxes, insurance, HOA fees, everything. And then when you go to okay. buy the house, you want it to be on a 15-year fixed rate conventional mortgage. That's what you're looking for. Okay. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. You're so here's the thing. Here's what it's going to feel like, Julie. Number one, you're going to get your sanity back this week. Go find a rental house. Okay. Something, okay. something yeah. reasonable because you're going to be there for a year. Maybe a year and a half. So get something reasonable. Okay, and then sell the camper. And sell or... the camper. What will the camper bring? Okay. Uh, we bought it used for twenty. I'm assuming we could only get about like seventeen out of it. Okay. So now, if you take that seventeen and your other seventeen, you're debt free. Yes. Then you're going to build up three to six months of expenses. So you're going to be sitting on another fifteen thousand cash. Is your next goal. Okay. Okay. But you're going to be there pretty yeah. quick. Maybe there by Christmas. Now that I that now that I got the camper there. sold, I forgot about how much it was going to bring. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. so we're dealing with thirty four. You're dealing with nine thousand dollars in your savings account after you sell the camper and pay off seventeen. Okay. No, you're dealing, no, I'm sorry. You're dealing with um. You're gonna have you're gonna more, you're gonna have, you're gonna have your emergency fund. Pretty close. Yeah. Well, no, 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 no. Thirty four. No, you're gonna have nine thousand in there. So yeah, you got to go and you got to put another six thousand in by Christmas and. Here's the thing. You got breathe this in for a second. You're living in a nice rental home, not super pot, not super expensive because we don't want to spend too much. Okay. But, a, but a whole lot better in your situation today. Okay. There's a little bit of physical room for your family to relax and, and yes, have, and a, I do. Um, and have a little bit of, wait, 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 wait. Let, me, let me breathe this okay. in. I want you to hear, I want you to get this picture. The kids okay. are calm. There's a little physical privacy and space. There's $15,000 cash in the bank. You don't have a payment in the world. That feels pretty darn good. Yes, yes, for sure. Now we save up a big down payment. We buy a house in the next two years. And you're doing that from a position of strength, not desperation and frantic. I got to get out of this camper. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly where I am right now. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> I, would, I would be too. <sighs> So does okay, that, does that make sense? Thank you so much for that. Yeah. Yes. No, it's it called does. financial yeah. peace. If you work the system, that's what you get. That's right. You got to be committed to it.
Yeah. That's how it works. And there's a process here. So Jade was exactly right. You've got to lay a process in there, step-by-step game plan mm-hmm. to attack this. Renting is not a sin, folks. It's patience while you get your crap together. That's right. And that's what we laid out here. Mm-hmm. My husband and I, we rented for 10 years while wow. we paid off our debt. Well, you paid off $465,000 yeah, in debt. That's right. But we understood what was on the the end of it, which is why I say when you go into these things, understand it's a plan. It's something for the long haul. And you've got to understand that going in. Otherwise, midway through, you'll bail on it.